Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on positive and negative coterminal angles. This is part two of three. Here we're looking for positive coterminal angles. As a quick review, angles have turns. When we started, oh, this is wrong. We started over here, start here. As you can see, if we end over here, we can also pass this angle, go around once, and come back around again. Kind of like, a, I don't know, my daughter is watching those vampire movies, kind of like Edward. You know, he already lived so long, so he knows the stock market and he can make money because he's been around and seeing the patterns. Same thing with our called terminal angle. Okay, You can go over here once, or you can go around one more time and you still end up at the same place. Now, when your teacher asks you to find a coterminal angles or positive coterminal angles, it's actually pretty simple if you think about it. All they're asking is take the 360 out. Whatever is left is your coterminal angles. So I like to write a CO in front of it to say 300, uh, 640 is really not equal to 280, but coterminal of 640 does equal to 280 degrees. Okay, so basically we trim off the fat. 360 is going around a circle once. We're saying, look, if you're already going around a circle once, I don't want to count it. I'm going to say, what's the first time it's going to end? It's 260. Let's try another one. If you have a terminal angle, they're asking you to find this one. It's a negative angle. Now here, you're basically doing the same thing. If they're asking you to find a positive terminal angle, slap the 360 in front of it, okay? If it's not enough, for example, and then you can do get a cousin times two. Okay? And then you add whatever number you had before. Okay, so I have 720, whatever you have to do to overpower this negative angle. And then over here, I calculated, you might calculate, I was too lazy to do a subtraction, that's 278. So called terminal angle of minus. 442 is a positive 278. They will end at the same place. Now, a lot of students get really annoying with the radians. You know what? Radians are just unpleasant at the beginning when you learn it. But as you learn deeper and higher in math, it's actually a pretty pleasant thing. So here what we're going to do is we're still going to look for that 360. Now, 360 does have, does have to be converted into pi. Now the exchange ratio is 180 degrees equal to 1 pi. So 360 is equal to 2 pi. So here what we're going to do is 2 pi plus question mark. Basically we have 3, 6 pi. We're going to break down 11 pi. That's 3 and 5. Okay. And guess what? This is star trim the fat. Our coterminal is 5 pi over 3. So think of a coterminal angle as just a play, playful way to say going around the merry-go-round. Okay, so over here, once again, we probably have enough of for the 2 pi. So the 2 pi, um, let's convert it into a decimal, not decimal. Getting ahead of myself. Convert it into the fractions. Okay, and then I'm going to add whatever negative I had to begin with. And then here I have a 36, right? 36 pi over 18, and I'm going to subtract my 35. So my coterminal angle, positive coterminal, is pi over 18. See, that's not too bad. All right. Hopefully you agree with me. All right. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.